Hi, my name is Matt. Welcome back to the shop. So, um, I was looking through YouTube and I found a channel that was showing people how to build engine components on SolidWorks. And to be quite honest, it was a really bad example. It was ba make the basic shapes and stuff, which I thought was a bit crappy. So I thought, well, I use this every day at work. Um, I have the license that I'm using now, which is actually a work license. Um, and I do some stuff at home on SolidWorks. Some of you'll know that when I do have templates of things and what have you. So I thought it might be a good idea to show people one, how to use SolidWorks, and two, while I'm at it, build engines and engine components so I can fill a video with not just how to build stuff but actually why things are designed and built the way they are. The one beauty about SolidWorks is that I did a couple of videos um, last year about how gearboxes work and how clutches work and one of the problems is that as soon as you button these things up, this is all you see of a clutch. It's very hard to explain how it works. But with SolidWorks, we can do this, which is a cross-sectional view. And once it loads, um, you can actually move components and see... It's a bit of a bad example because things aren't mated properly. So the beauty is with this cross-sectional view is you can actually still rotate components. If I find a gear that does rotate, you can rotate components you can move components and you can see how these things work and how they interact with each other um, so I will start to build stuff showing people how to build stuff in SolidWorks but not only that I can sit there and chat about how these things actually are designed why they're designed that way how they work possible issues and problems stuff like that and um, I can also do uh, start off with very simple stuff as in the way things used to be in the 1930s for example and what we've done over the years to improve them by design. So if you have SolidWorks or you use SolidWorks or you're getting into SolidWorks and even if you're not I'll do these videos so that if you're learning how to use SolidWorks you can learn how to use it if you are not you can still learn quite a lot because I'll build stuff as fast as I can um, so there's not too much boring stuff of put this square here and put this line here etc. I'll talk about it as I'm doing it and uh, try and fit in as much information about the components as well as um, how to build them. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. If it, if it, you know if it's quite successful or what have you, then I'll do more and more and more. If it's not, eventually we'll ditch it. But uh, SolidWorks is a very good tool. It is just a tool, but it is a very good tool, and it's getting more and more common this is kind of the way engineering is going so um yeah see you in a bit